It's that special time of year on Flathead Lake with cherry season officially up and running. MTN Sean Wells takes us down to Finley Point for an up close look at this year's harvest. For the next three weeks, Flathead cherry growers will be busy picking and selling their product with some cherries being sold locally while others make a trip around the world. Interesting to think that some cherries picked in Montana today could be halfway around the world in just two or three days from now. Munson Fruit Company field representative Brian Campbell says the Cherry Grower Cooperative manages 80 flathead orchards, roughly 500 acres of cherries. Brian says freezes in both October and February coupled with extreme heat in June has resulted in the size of this year's cherries being a little below normal. Definitely a correlation between the, the hot June with 90 plus, almost 100 degree temperatures and very dry conditions that really stresses out the tree and a stressed out tree cannot produce big fruit. Brian says the market for small fruit is bad this year due to small fruit already being picked in California, Oregon and Washington. Buyers is condi conditioned to believe that the bigger the better because the small fruit tastes just as good as the large fruit. Um, it's every bit as good. I mean, you might have to put two cherries in your mouth at a time instead of one, I guess, but um, it's, it's too bad there's not a better market for it. Despite smaller than average fruit, Big Bear Orchard in Woods Bay co-owner Laura Hogan says her cherry crop was significantly bigger than last year. Um, it looks like we have more this year than we have in the past years. Um, they're a little smaller, but um, I think we're doing all right com comparatively to the heat wave that we've been experiencing and Washington was able to pull through. So now we'll bring up the remainder of the year. Big Bear Orchards along with TT and J Orchards in Woods Bay are two of a dozen or so orchards selling fruit in stands right off Highway 35. TT and J Orchards co-owner Connie Scott says people from all over the country are stopping by. We're going headed home to Texas, Wisconsin. Uh, I've had some people from Chicago that stopped in and got cherries. They're excited they'd never been this close to a cherry tree before. They see the cherries alongside the road and they just want to stop and go and pick them. <laughs> Brian says one silver lining is that cherry varieties are picked at different times. He says the sweetheart cherry crop looks strong and will be picked in a couple weeks. Our sweetheart crop looks really good this year and the sweethearts are the ones that are the later variety and we won't be picking those till well into August. Connie says her orchard plans on selling cherries off Highway 35 for the next month, offering a different variety as the season moves along. Yeah, they'll be different color, different tastes, um, but the, the taste tests are always free, so stop on by and see what we have. Although the average size of this year's cherries may be a little smaller than normal, I can attest they taste just as sweet as ever. In Polson, Sean Wells, MTN News.